Welcome back, guys. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, a lot's happened. We're down in my uh, my lower office disaster area. Um, just going over a few things. First off, we got a, an old rig on the healing bench. This is an old um, Athlon 64X2. It's a dual core processor under that fan. It used to have a, an older DirectX 9 based AGP video card this black little AGP port down here. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty dark down there. So we can get a bit more light from that way. This, this section isn't really set up for filming as far as lighting, but it's the healing bench I've been working on. Um, this motherboard died. I'm gonna bring over a little portable light here, just for us to get in here and see. And what I've been finding on the boards of this age, and these are a little older, oh, a little bit of camera shake here because I don't have my tripod. See these, um, where are they here? Yeah. Yeah, it's these guys. And a lot of these boards in this era with the AGP uh, video card, I not shake the camera here too much. Um, there's two little capacitors or one big one. Sometimes you see there's one big one right around here where this one is. But there's two little capacitors here lately or older in this time area and they um they puff up and it's just those two capacitors that would have to be replaced to make this board stable again right now this board technically would work but it's very unstable it's a crap shoot and uh, it becomes unstable as it runs because of those just those capacitors i've checked them all um they're all appear to be fine i have to actually take everyone out and uh check them on a on a test on a meter but uh, that's just way too much work there's there's tons of capacitors like that um but for the most part the rest of this rig was was pretty much fine um so it's down on the healing bench or in this case uh <laughs> today is the triage slash deciding bench because over in my mess over here that big silver case down there is a Leon lee case it has the single core version of that processor on a motherboard that still very much works. So what I was thinking of doing was taking that processor out of there, taking its RAM and adding it to what's in that case. Um, but that was just a project for, uh, uh, for fun or whatnot. Just mostly this machine time to retire because this machine was purchased when those CPUs became uh, commercially available. In fact, it was out of the first batch that came into my store back then when I ran a store. Um, so it's really old, it served me well. Um, in fact, over there are the three hard drives that used to be in it. And using um, uh, a GoFlex drive dock, which just happens to just be a SATA connector, how it connects to the, the drive. I don't have one handy. It's it's a thing very much like this big three terabyte here. There's a th three terabyte like chunk that plugs down there. But you can use that really, really quickly and easily and actually safely because it's hot plug pluggable the way that this is built for the um, drives that have the same connector. You just plunk them on and make sure they're not under too much strain from their own weight to slime down. And I've been going through and pulling out um, the uh, stuff that I want and cleaning the drive off and doing some maintenance using the machine here that is the case is new but um, the guts for lack of a better term are new to me and that's uh, an i5 750 with uh, six gigs of pretty darn fast RAM and the videos are going to be being processed on that um, I'm probably going to use Power Director Ultimate. Um, it was on Humble Bundle this month. It was cheap, it's like 30 bucks. And I got tired of you trying to use the free stuff or just using the video that's in this phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy Alpha. It has video processing in the phone, which is pretty good, but it's kind of hard to work you know, on a small screen. And if I do plug in the HDMI adapter to put it on a big screen, well, I just will be using it, doing this on a computer, right? So anyhow, this is primarily going to be for my rendering. Um, like most of my PCs, it's upcycled. <laughs> it 
the guts were on their way to the junkyard from an old HP pavilion. Pulled them out, cleaned them up, uh, reseeded. Um, I redid the thermal paste because on an old computer around 10 years old or so, or in this case, um, I'm not sure, this just under, I can't remember. I can't remember how far back the i5s go, but this came out around the time that the i5s were commercially available. It's from HP. What happens even as your machine gets older, I'm gonna bring that light back down here, just one of these little LED sand lights. Your CPU obviously needs its thermal place changed, but your north bridge and south bridge chips, when your machine starts to get a bit older, those need to be replaced. Because that machine had that machine had a case of a fever. It, had a high CPU temperature. I took the CPU cooler off and changed the paste, and then the temperatures went down low. And then there was one temperature on the motherboard that wasn't identified. Um, fan speed and various other apps told me it was two temperatures that were reporting from the motherboard. One of them matched roughly the CPU temperature. And one of them was way out of scale; it was up at about 80 degrees. On the Pentium, or sorry, on the uh, i5s, the Northbridge chip is inside. The CPU. So all you're left with is like the Southbridge chip chipset. Um, so I carefully popped that off and in fact, bear with me, I think I have. Uh, no, this wasn't it, but I had that old kind of gum. Oh, here I got one. Here we go. Just bear with me again. This is a uh, Southbridge off another motherboard that I worked on. And I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Maybe. Maybe I just can't hold it still enough. I'll just put that down there. But you can see when I tilt it just in the light, just right, there's some junk from where the die was bonded onto the board. And you can even see by this foam, the foam had discolored because it had been hot. Um, that stuff, just like your CPU cooling uh, compound, needs to be removed and refreshed every few years. And you know, when these PCs start to get to the 10 year age, um, it's time to check those. So some of the stability, and as you can see, this is right in an area of fairly high heat where this, where those caps died near the video card. And uh, this little fella needs um, cool air to help make the rest of the peripherals on your motherboard run. And when they get old, you know, they need their coolant replaced too. Or sorry, their thermal compound replaced. Now, there's a fair amount of mess up here, but uh, it's a pretty active spot for me to be doing stuff while I'm downstairs. I haven't been going back and forth upstairs much. So I don't know if you can see that. There's a compression bandage there. I got a cut on my ankle a while ago and uh, found out it wasn't healing. Found out there's a thing called uh, venous stasis and venous reflux. That's where the blood goes in your legs, doesn't come back out, doesn't let it heal. Um, this was scheduled to probably take till about November to heal, but it's actually healing now, so that's good. So that means I don't have, don't appear to have any other factors like diabetes or anything like that. It's just, for whatever reason, the veins on my legs, the little one-way check valves aren't working, but it's healing, so I'm ahead of schedule on that now. I need to get out of this compression wrap and into compression stockings forever, but I'm sure they'll be a heck of a lot more comfortable than this giant rubber stretchy thing. Anyhow, the other thing that happened, to be honest, it has kept me off of uh, YouTube and a few things right now. Um, for a lot of you who don't know, I used to be a sonar operator in the Navy, so um, for all of my life I've had really good better than average hearing. In fact, it's caused problems on the YouTube channel before where something that sounds totally fine to me is probably about half the volume it should be. But chances are, between this new microphone, which I'm probably just right now, um, and something that not kind of good happened, uh, a couple months ago, I got a cold, regular sort of, a uh, cold sort of, a little bit of a scratchy feeling in the throat. And, my ears were sort of popping and I went to bed and I woke up and I couldn't hear out of my right ear. It's been about um, 60 days and I am still stone deaf in my right ear. Can't hear a thing. Doctors looked at it, being referred to a specialist. Um, lately I can hear just very faintly. I can hear the bass tracks in the car. 
Um, high stuff tends to just come through scratchy and muffled, but for the most part, can't hear a thing out of my right ear. Um, so along with that came vertigo and a bunch of other things. The vertigo is gone now. Thank, that's amazing because the vertigo was actually almost at the point of inca incapacitating me. Um, couldn't stand up without feeling like the world was moving. But um, that part is gone right now. It's just basically I can't hear from the ear. So let's hope we get that fixed. On the flip side, it might be making me a little louder when I'm recording these videos. So I'm going to be uh, processing this and uploading it. There's not a whole lot more on the go. I've got, uh, I've got to go through and sort what's in those black bins because those have been there for a while. And there's stuff stored in there from before I moved. I'm going to be making a shelf at the back of this table to get those monitors up off the table and then I'm going to go back through and sort all this recently salvaged computer stuff because that's pretty much what I do. I salvage these parts, sort them, order them, decide if they're going to get put into a Franken PC that gets built and sent out to somebody else in the family or whatnot that needs one. Um, and then uh, whatever's left I keep as spare parts or do my fun little experiments with. Like one experiment I'll be doing soon is I've got one of the little OLED displays on an Arduino. Um, this PC over here has had some of the original HP display and information stuff. Uh, can't be mounted to it because the way the case was very uh, minimalistic as far as design. What I wanted to do is make a little um, kind of like a faceplate or a status plate here that would take the information such as a motherboard state and temperatures and stuff and just make it available just on a little thing here somewhat, somewhat like that. I'll 3D print a little case that will give me the temperatures and, uh, and power mode because this could be asleep, it could be all the way off, it could be um, under high load. And these fans, I mean, they're running full power now. I hope you're not hearing them too loudly. But that's full speed. That's un, un power modulated fans on the front. They're large fans, so they're the width of the whole case. So they're pretty quiet even at full power. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm kind of hoping you don't hear them. The fan that you would normally hear is that big air conditioner. This is the first cool day that we've had in a little while. And for us up here in Canada, we kind of need the air conditioner when it starts getting into that true summer temperatures because frankly, where I live, we're used to stuff, you know, being in the 15 to 17 degrees Celsius, overcast and rainy. <laughs> Anyhow, um, on that, I'm just gonna, this will be shaky as a little heck. On that background, there's actually a picture from my backyard out over the ocean. That's my desktop right there. And uh, that was from a couple nights ago. So we have a uh, pretty decent uh, <laughs> ocean view here and it doesn't get terribly warm. Anyhow, so that's a bit of the updates. I know some of it's a bit of a bummer, but I am back. I am doing things like uh, going through some of my old stuff here. Um, some of my other projects, the 3D printer and that, uh, it's just waiting for me to sort through this, get the PCs changed around. One of these computers I've got, uh, it's an old small Dell workstation um, that uh, I fixed for somebody. They had it. Um, they wanted to have a few things done. They took it into work. They took it to work and work changed it. And somehow magically it came back with a version of Windows 7 in it. And some stuff that was stalled installing and the computer was locked right up. So I cleaned that out and got it running again. But now apparently it has a valid Windows 7 in it. So they must have uh, done the upgrade, but they don't want it anymore. So rather than throw it out, it's back at the recyclers. And I'm probably just going to take that machine and use it as a server for... Uh, 3D printer and, and a few things I want to put up and that's in the upstairs shop. That's my wooden bench for those that have seen the other videos. Um, but for now, I've got some more tearing down and recycling. See, I've already stripped that machine and yeah, I think that's it. All the other ones are out. I've already stripped that machine down to the metal and that'll be going off to the steel recyclers. This um, once I get the stuff out of here, these drives are still totally fine. Um, decide what's happening with this. I'll probably, like I said, move the RAM out of that into the other board that can take it. And then I'll have two, two CPUs kicking around for that socket, to use in that socket. Um, that case over there has a pretty decent video card from that generation. 
Uh, not sure what I'd do with it because, again, these guys were also a little bit heavy on the power back then. Um, so it wouldn't be a machine that would be running all the time. And it's kind of a large case. I mean, heck, I've got my, I've got a bunch of junk on top of it right now. Um, it's a really nice case. I might make a, if I can figure out how to put on a low power mode, um, it might make a good file server. Possibly even a, a home cloud or something like that. I'll throw all the drives in it because it's got the room. Um, we'll see. Anyhow, uh, again, sorry for the big old ramble. Um, and I'm sure this has been fairly boring. I'm sure there's some stuff up here you guys would like to see. Like one of my projects I'll probably do a video on is this is the flashcard reader. That for me, it was fairly useful. Because it reads all the flash of all my cameras. And uh, this was mounted in a sort of custom size bay, almost like the old floppies, but it's actually a tiny bit smaller on the HP that that motherboard came out of. So the machine already has the drivers for this and it is just a USB device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hack that wire on one end. I'm gonna remove the, uh, the board Molex pin. I don't know if you can see in this, but there is actually only four conductors because this is just USB. And I'm going to take a, a USB plug and put it on that end. I'm gonna make it an external uh, peripheral so I can just plug it in when I need it. What I'm going to end up having to do is 3D print a case or, or make a case out of wood or something for it. And I'm going to put some, uh, uh, as a Navy would say, some neodymium magnets. And uh, then that will be able to just sit on top of that when I'm using just like this backup drive here. But, uh, I might actually film that for those that are interested. Um, I mean, all I'm going to be doing is making a small case. And, putting a USB cable on the end of that. But I have had uh, some people uh, ask about uh, me doing that. The other thing is I'm on Discord fairly regularly and um, I might look into starting up just a, a channel for the hardware side of things. I do a fair amount of software and I am slowly setting this rig up to have um, my same coding environment that I had on my laptop that I do most of my, most of my coding on. So as I start getting into that and some of the software projects that I plan over the winter, um, I'll be doing screen recording on this and probably doing some of the code for that right on uh, as, a, as a video. But we'll have to see, see how that goes. Um, I don't think watching me code <laughs> is going to be all that interesting and I'm sure it's going to have a whole lot of editing because on when I code I tend to pull up a lot of uh, reference when I'm running and there'll be a lot of dead air and dead time because I don't think I'd be talking that much. Um, also, I tend to be on um, Discord chatting with my friends and sometimes the topics that they'll get chatting about or we'll get tech chatting about might not be too YouTube friendly. Um, usually just choice of language. But uh, that will come and this has ended up being way longer than I expected to get into the 20 minute range here. So I'm going to wrap it up and say thanks to all you guys that have been watching and still watch. Maybe some of you guys just look at my videos as reference. Um, working on the volume issue. Hopefully this is correcting it right now with a better microphone. Um, maybe one of my ears being gone is, uh, of course, it's my, my best ear is the one that I can't hear out of anymore. My ear that already had a bit of damage is the one that is just fine. Um, so that has the whole world sounding a little bit funny to me. That would be like putting um, a very, very, very good plug in one ear because I can't even hear my own voice from the inside. Um, so plug your ear and then go get a small to medium paper bag, put that over your other ear. That's pretty much how I'm here in the world right now. So it seems a bit weird and disjointed for me. Anyhow, um, again, I'm going to wrap this up. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, any of you guys that are still subscribed, thanks for hanging in there. For the few new people who have come in the last little while, thanks for showing up. Um, the video dry spell will probably be uh, ending soon. Uh, very soon, hopefully. Um, and for those of you who know that we still do have that little dog. It's not a little puppy anymore. <laughs> it's a fair-sized dog. It's a full-sized dog. And uh, to be able to make these videos, I'm going to have to start putting her outside because she wants to be involved in everything and she'll knock whatever I'm doing out of my hands almost or she'll start barking for lack of attention but uh, that'll probably go away as she gets older so she can always go outside when I do a video 
or next time she'll just be in the video anyhow as always thanks for watching and uh this time i should get back to you pretty soon bye